to turn it on there's a button around the back you've just got to flick uh, the perspex cover switch it on it only connects to an oxygen port so once the ventilators are on you'll go into standby mode which is the screen here so you just say if it's a new patient um, obviously male female uh, adult invasive non-invasive what you're going to use it for height um, and then ventilation mode again you can go through this way to set your modes you can then set your parameters by clicking the screen dial in the knob and just like a Drago you have to confirm by pressing it and then it will go from yellow back to grey again when you're ready to ventilate you just have to press the button down here navigating the screen from here uh, you can see that within the mode you have more settings down the bottom if you touch the button it will give you some other parameters to change if you want to switch back into a different mode you can either hit that button and that brings you to a main screen or down here main menu will bring you into the same screen again and then here you can change your mode accept and it will move you into a different mode down the side here you have some manoeuvres so there's obviously expiratory holds um, there's manual bagging 100% suction there are no hard buttons for 100% um, oxygen so once you've touched the button the only indicator you'll get is at the top that is 100% oxygen and it actually goes for three minutes so slightly different to our other ventilators when you're finished just touch that there's a button here for freeze so if you hit that it will freeze your screen so as you can see there's no line and then if I unfreeze it there you go it's reinstated alarm limits so changing your alarms do the same again all touch screen and click to confirm there's two quite important things to note from here so the nebulizer function if you try and press it it doesn't actually work so what you actually need to do is put your finger and hold and it will flash a few times and then we'll start and then again press and hold a few seconds and it will stop and this is the same again for standby so there's no other function for turning off the ventilator other than the standby button as you can see if you just press it once nothing happens but if you put your finger on it press and hold again it will flash and will turn off so I think those are really important features quite an important aspect as well about the machine and the alarm system so if I try and put the patient into apnea after about 20 seconds hopefully we will see an alarm pop up as you can see we've now gone into apnea We've given us a nice alarm at the top and we've moved into backup mode. Now to acknowledge and turn the alarm off, you would naturally press the button here. Watch what happens when I press this button. It not only turns the alarm off, but it will put you back into your previous mode. You also have screen lock on here. If you press it, yet again, doesn't seem to do anything, doesn't seem to work. If you press and hold for three seconds, You'll see that it turns yellow and you've got a little message up here. So to unlock, you have to press and hold again for three seconds. To find more observations, you can either touch the mode button or go to main menu button down here and it'll bring up the same screen. And then if you go into monitoring data, you'll get a lot more of your um, plateau pressures or uh, p-mean pressures, etc and an IE ratio here as well. To switch it from non-invasive to invasive or invasive to non-invasive, you first need to stop ventilating by pressing and holding the standby button for three seconds. And then you need to pick a new patient because the buttons actually won't activate. So go across, new patient, we're already on invasive, now we're gonna to switch to non-invasive. Um, and here then you can press enter on the modes, pick which mode you're going to use uh, and click accept 
and then press start ventilation. And from here, you'll be able to have a look at leakage. If you go into your mode button or into your main menu, they both bring up the same one. And then go into monitoring data. You'll see you have a, a leak NIV percentage here, as well as other OBS. In any of the modes that have um, a spontaneous element to them, you'll find in more settings there will be eSense, which is expiratory sensor, down the bottom here. It's an expiratory flow cycle sensor, and I've been instructed that 25% uh, is, is just about right. 